Hello guys, welcome to the Performance Kitchen. Today we've got the London Paleo Girl, Tessa Seward, into the studio. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. So, uh, welcome to the Performance Kitchen. Today we've got a takeover, she's taken over literally already. She's Snapchatting everything. Uh, we've got Tessa Seward in from London Paleo Girl. You can follow her on Instagram on that. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. So, first things first, I like to get straight to the most important thing. What are we cooking today? Can you let us know? We are going to be cooking um, a salmon fillet mm -hmm. marinated in lime, chilli and garlic, mm -hmm. um, which is going to be on a bed of spinach and one to two on a potato cake, which is going to be butternut squash and root vegetables. Very nice. Um, with a paleo pesto. I'm absolutely looking forward to this. So I'll let you lead as you are taking over. Direct me and I shall cut and chop and then we'll have a chat. Okay. What's first? Right, so let's do the marinade for salmon. No problems. Um, do you want to do the garlic? Yep, yeah, sure. And we've got the chilli. How do you want the garlic? Just thin sliced, sliced, chop it up. Perfect. Yeah. No problem. Um, so let's get down to it. Uh, your kind of main angle, if, if you will, is, is the paleo diet. So could you first of all maybe explain for people that don't know, what is it? So it's basically, um, in terms of it's it's a gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free, very clean way of eating. Yeah. You focus on like quality, ingredients, um, Everyone's like, oh, when I start saying it's free from all this, everyone's like, oh, it's fun free. Can you actually eat anything? Yeah. Actually, it couldn't be any further from the case. And I find it very hard to say, I find it hard to, to go by. And, and for me, it's massively about balance. So I do what works for me. My body is, um, is best when I'm not having gluten, I'm not yeah. having dairy, I'm not having refined sugar. Yeah. Um, and it's just making small changes in kind of you know, what works for me. Occasionally I'll have grains, but I feel bloated and I yeah. feel heavy and I feel, you know, worse without it. So I just think, well, well why have it? And I don't exactly. miss having it. Can, um, can I ask you, I mean, I've, I've spoke to her beforehand, obviously. Uh, we had a good phone chat, but could you kind of like, uh, let us know in, in terms of how you discovered it and, and why you got into it? Because I think you've got yeah. a really good, um, really good powerful story yeah. like, behind it. So basically when I graduated from uni, um, I got glandular fever and I was, very, very ill. I had no energy. Right. Um, it just kind of hit me. I was actually at my graduation ball and I just had to go home. Um, I then um, was told by my doctor I had mild ME right. um, and I literally couldn't get out of bed in the morning. So I can you let everyone know what ME is? It's like chronic yeah, fatigue. Yeah, fatigue. So it's, I mean, it's, uh, it actually, I, like, I hate thinking about it. Looking yeah. back, it was such a horrible time. I mean, like not being able to do anything like yeah, just just, in it, bed. just totally yeah and I at the time I was quite active and I used to like horse riding and I'd go down and see my horse and I'd be just looking at him because I couldn't even like then do to ride him yeah um I was always tired just yeah couldn't be bothered couldn't be bothered couldn't, couldn't physically to do, get physically, yourself to yeah, do it couldn't do anything yeah. um so mind your fingers <laughs> so yeah, I mean, and then someone said to me, you know, have you looked into, so I'm actually from America, said, have you, have you looked into the whole paleo lifestyle, drinking me about that? Yeah. Um, and what I love about it is it is a paleo lifestyle, it's not just a diet, it kind of incorporates, yes, a diet is a big part of it, but it's looking at sleep, it's managing exercise, yeah. um, you know, just like managing stress, like there's so much more, it's a real lifestyle kind of thing to follow. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, after, it was a matter of kind of, you know, I also found out that I was um, celiac as well. So I kind of, it all just sort of came into place and and the changes were so dramatic, even in such yeah. a short space of time, um, that it was something like, I don't ever, you know, I want to keep feeling like this. And I was getting better and better, like week by week. Yes. Um, so it's something I just kind of stuck to. So now where are you now in terms of like um, your, your health and what has it done for you? Like talk to me about yeah. in terms of your activity levels, like. Uh, and, and what that enables yeah. you to do? Because you're quite a busy girl, right? Yeah. I mean, I think with um, the main thing with paleo is that it's actually, you know, I say it's free from this, it's free from that. Yeah. But you focus on, you know, it's a very high protein diet um, full of good fats, which is great for energy. Um, and, and it's a low carb. So I never feel like 
and, and I eat, a lot of my guy friends say you eat more than me. Yeah. So it's a kind of diet, you can afford to eat a lot of it. It's like meat, veg, you know, good fats. Yeah, um, I love cooking, so you can be quite creative with it. And there's a lot of unhealthy dishes that you can actually recreate. Yes. Um, and even small changes, like instead of having avocado, instead of having butter, you use yeah. avocado. Exactly. Um, and, you know, coconut oil and it's, it, this, and you know, coconut is amazing for yeah. everything. And as you see, we use it in this dish, but things like, um, it's just like everything and I like yogurt and stuff I have coconut yeah. yogurt um, what else do we need to do some chilies on there so chili. we're gassing away that's okay so we'll uh, chop some chilies up we've got the um, we've got the, the salmon in there we've got it all marinated all the garlics on there so Chicken. it's just left to kind of get some heat to that bit of spice yeah so yeah. We'll leave it to marinate in the fridge for about 45 minutes yeah um, and those this should give it some flavour and put some pepper in. So what we're going to do in like true Blue Peter style is kind of speed it up or, or get things going Quick a little fast quicker. Forward. Yeah, a little fast <laughs> forward, which will, which will help. Um, Want a bit more chilli? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Spice it up. I think we can definitely give producer Dave and, and, uh, and Piers some, something to think about when they're taking a mouthful of this dish at the end of the programme. <laughs> Sweet. So. We'll keep talking about the paleo and how it's affected you and what you've got going on. We've got that marinating. What else have we, we got to do? I mean, we had some uh, classic, she bought in some classic Bugs Bunny style <laughs> carrots. Um, and we've kind of, I guess, finely chopped. Finely grated in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call it that. Um, so where are we going from here? So from here, so what we need to do now is add the butternut squash. So this okay. is just literally just the carrots and parsnips. Yeah. Um, the butternut squash, which... Is that how it works? Okay, yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Ah, here we go. It's here. So, Pizza style. <laughs> so guys, what we're doing is we're using our very colourful spoons just to uh, spoon the butternut squash that has been pre-prepared. So how did you pre-prepare this for us today? What did you go through to get it in this so state? So it was just chopped in half um, and then I've used this um, Primal Kitchen avocado oil just to... Um, just a quick drizzle of that on top mm -hmm. um, and some black pepper and then it was just straight into the oven. Um, it was about 180 degrees um, for about 45 minutes. Right. So it's still kind of, it is, it is kind of cooked but it's not really cooked is it? You it's don't really, really want hard. to blast the nutrients out of it I guess. No, exactly. What other kind of projects have you got going on at the moment? Because you've got some quite interesting things going on, haven't you? Yeah, so my, my whole blog um, is kind of really kicked off in working with some amazing brands like fitness um, and also kind of, you know, there's some really, really amazing um, sort of new food startup companies as well. Yeah, um, it's pretty popular now, isn't it? To kind of make sure that when you're eating you're eating the right things that are really well yeah. sourced and that kind of thing. Exactly. Um, and I think a lot of people are going, right, I want to do something that I love. And then they're starting up their own, you know, food companies or, yeah. or whatever it is really. So, um, so my main thing I've been doing this, I guess, since the beginning of the year is working for, um, on our project, which is the Good Food Co. Yeah. So it's a new store. So the Good Food Co. The Good Food Co. Good food co which is opening in Paddington, <laughs> uh, end of Hello. September. Nice. Um, and it's basically going to be a store, so we've got an on-site bakery, ca um, cafe, food to go area, Kofre bar, um, which is a product I've created. It's a soft serve, frozen uh, coconut, funny enough, yogurt. Very nice, yeah, um, and I like it. So yes, yeah, so we've got a Kofre bar, a Sai yeah. bar, a cold pressed juice bar, um, a retail store, so, and Sounds then we're going to kind of take really over cool. London with these with these stores so yeah. yeah it's been a lot to do but I'm just really excited and just can't wait to quite get on. it open okay cool so now this is mashed mm -hmm. we can add it in to the grated um, parsnip and carrots cool get the, the baby spoon out yeah I think so <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work so this is going to be the the roshti right is that correct it is yeah so it's kind of like a um we'll call it a cake um yeah Pretty much like a, a rusty. Any. And this is okay. what the salmon's going to sit on. I yes. Guess. So if you're making base. it at home, obviously you need to get the, the plate presentation correct if you're serving it to your loved ones. Mm. So take notes. I think this is the thing with polo is everyone goes, oh, it must be boring. We can't be creative. I mean, it's no, I anything think so. of any dish you can recreate it. Yes. Um, and it can be quite 
straightforward. I'll let you do the rest. Right, do we need any heat? That's the question. So the oven is preheated, isn't it? So you've got that 100 um, degrees centigrade, mm -hmm. 200 Fahrenheit. So that's good to go when we keep this warm when we cook the salmon. Okay, so that is now done. Um, I hear you've got really good egg cracking skills. I've, well, hold on. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. That is around Thank the you. That wasn't even rehearsed. They didn't even know about that. Hang on, there's a massive load of... No, I'm not oh, kidding. Sorry. Oh, yes, yes. I'm kidding. No <laughs> shell. It's a good job. Very good. Um, okay, so the next thing <laughs> is to add in two tablespoons of okay. um, this coconut flour. Okay. Um, I absolutely love this brand, I to say, because it's um, reduced fat. And most things when you say reduced fat, you think that it's just that taking out the fat and adding rubbish. This isn't. Yeah. It's from the coconut meat. Um, they reduce the fat by taking uh, cold pressing out the coconut oil, yeah. removing that, which obviously brings down the content. And then when it's milled, it's then into, into the flour. Right, let's see if so. I can actually open the thing. And crack an egg, but can I open a packet? <laughs> this is the question. So, this is uh, sucrin, fine flour from raw organic. Fat reduced cold pressed coconut. So where right, are we so going with this wash dish? Okay, so oh, because they're quite big salmon fillets, yep. we're gonna make quite big ones. So let's split it and I'll make mine here and you can make yours. Okay, here. let's see how this is going. I'll follow your leads. Okay. Are we getting in, are we? Let's just go for it. <laughs> um, I don't even notice, but I don't add salt whenever I cook. Okay. Um, I have actually, I guess that's something as well, I've kind of weaned myself, I don't, actually like salt. I don't think, you know, sometimes people like chefs always put it into salt for the flavour and things like that. Mm -hmm. I just get, I don't know, I personally just don't like it. Yeah. But when I cook for other people, I don't use it. Well, you always put on the so, table, and yeah, if exactly. they want to kind of do it, then that's fine, eh? So how do you um, want this? So I've literally just made it as like a Yeah, burger. I like it. God, yours is bigger than mine, that's fine. <laughs> I don't Maybe, know. No? I don't know about that. <laughs> I think we're equal. I think we divided that okay, pretty good. Our perfect. kind of, um, what do you say, quality control is pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> Excellent. Right, so that's done. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's cook these first, so perfect. fry them off. No worries. Um, Let me get something on. We have a little bit of heat. So this should be like a, a medium-y kind of heat. Yeah. yeah. We, can, we can get it up and then whack it down a little bit if you like. So I'm standing back to let... Let's take over. <laughs> right. If this goes wrong, I'm not getting the blame. Right. They do, Give don't they? Give this a go. So it should be about four minutes on each side. Okay, cool. Say. No problem at um, all. We can gas for eight minutes, I'm sure. Just from halfway through to flip it over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, guys, um, we're now at a stage where the roshti is looking mighty fine. So we are going to transfer it over. Onto that. And where is this going, Tess, in terms so of the oven? What have you got the oven set so it's to? it's at 100 degrees. Um, it will just keep it warm uh, cool. while we cook the salmon. There we go. Looking very nice. What a mighty fine job. So roshti's in. We're heating the pan, I guess. Time for the salmon. So. Um, Obviously, the fish is quite oily, so I think we can just do a little bit of this. Just yeah. because it's so a little bit of avocado oil going into the pan. That's the noise that we like. There we go. Kitchen. So it should literally be a minute of probably uh, three minutes each side. Yeah. So we've so got. Another pan on. What's going on at the same time as the Alaskan salmon? So we need to heat up. You can either steam it or we're just going to pan fry it. The mange too and the spinach. Mange toot, as I think uh, Fears. Is it Fears or you, Dave? Which you, who said that? Mange tout. Mange tout, that's it. Mange tout. I think that's how the French Cool. And then okay. have some of that. Spinach. And some more. That should be enough. Cheap spinach okay. holder today. Just gonna put some water over it. Add that onto my CV. So traditionally, in your kind of like uh, style of cooking, would you always try and steam things, or would you sometimes I, just whack it all in the pan? Yeah, I mean it's 
for quickness, it's great in the pan. Now we've got healthy ways of cooking it. Yeah. Um, then I like using George Foreman for the meat. <laughs> Um, yes. And uh, and yeah, I mean, steaming is so e is just is obviously the best. I don't really like boiling. Okay, awesome. just flip these over. Yep. Perfect. They are nearly done. Do we want to do anything? We've got this thing here. It's the uh, Mr. Organic or, uh, Sun Dried Tomato Pesto. Yeah. So what we're going to do with this? So this is it's basically. Um, it's just the tomato, tomatoes, um, sun-dried tomatoes, yeah. uh, with the sunflower oil. Give it a go. This is without it being. So cut. this is like a paleo pesto. So mm. you haven't got the, the, you know, it actually doesn't. No, it doesn't have uh, nuts in it. A few ingredients, very clean, really easy very product, nice. um, and yeah, no normal pesto, but having cheese in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we heat this up cool. on top. So in terms of like your training. You, mm. you obviously go to the gym, you told me you go to the gym. Um, what, what do you do when you're in the gym? And, and Is it high intensity stuff or is it more kind of like low steady state? You, so in the weights room? Or? Yeah, my husband's a personal trainer, which is great. So I, I have Perfect. joined the gym, so we go together every morning. Do you want to give her a little um, mention? Alternatively healthy, Becky. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, she's brilliant and it's fun working out with her. You know, she's my yeah. best friend, the girl I live with. We enjoy training together. Yeah. A lot of the reason why we train is because we're both, we're both very busy and it's like a way of sort of relaxing and de-stressing, which sounds crazy, but... Um, you're, and yeah, you're preaching and just to the really good. Yeah. I think with the... Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what it's like. <laughs> with, the, with the diet as well, you've got so much kind of energy all the yeah. time. It's one way to kind of get out. I love classes. I like Barry's Boot Camp. Yeah. It's a place called Fit that I go to, which mm -hmm. is like... Um, it's like Pilates on a tube. Yeah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and like, I've just been getting more into spinning recently. Okay. But I just like going to the gym, you know, with friends, and it's just now it's such a social thing, isn't it? It so is go, massive. Go to the gym on a Saturday and go I'm to the brunch. I'm going to convince her like, to come down to uh, CrossFit Shakespeare at some point. Don't need to convince me, I'm there. I can't Boom. wait. You have the whole team, performance kitchen outing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Joe's in the back, um, just like, yeah. yeah. That little emoji, you know that emoji? That's yeah. what he's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't take, although we were gassing, that didn't take too long, to no. be fair. No, and I mean, it's, it's easy cooking. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's very, very straightforward. Mm -hmm. um, so we can get our cake on there. Mm -hmm. And I'll let okay. you do your, your thing, your dressing. My hands are clean. <laughs> okay. Just gonna fan out the munch too, I think. Very nice. Um, another thing when I cook, I love putting like superfoods in, and I do use I do these a lot. So instead of having bread, like making a rosti, and you know you can use courgettes, or yeah. there's so many vegetables you can use, or sweet potato, um, and and it's just kind of like my base bread equivalent, I guess. Cool. So the munch is on there. It's spinach time. So what kind of vitamins are you going to kind of get from this dish? I mean, this is full of um, like calcium. Um, iron, which is actually a lot in the, the salmon. Yeah, it's full um, of amigas, right? Exactly. Um, and it's actually a protein that is very easily digested as well. Um, you've got the fibre in, there's so much fibre in coconut. Um, so, let's see, that's perfect for you know, your digestive system. Exactly. Um, should we get the salmon on? Yeah, over to you. Do you want me to place it up? Okay. Are you happy to do it? Can... There we go. We'll take one of those away. It won't get wasted. I'm sure of it. Okay. Can I'm just going to drizzle this over the top. <laughs> Why is this boy alive? <laughs> mm. So a little bit more pepper. Oh yes. Make up for pep Make up for the uh, salt with the pepper. That's okay. Pepper with the salt. I, I, I everybody around. knew what you meant. <laughs> so. And then I'm obsessed with this herb. Um, you can use whatever herbs you like, but I'm obsessed with coriander, so um, I'm just going to cover it in a bit of coriander. Nice. Use obviously quite delicious. a lot of the pesto. I mean, you can use less, but yeah. again, I quite like that as well, so I've just kind of gone for it. Ta da! And there we go! <laughs> there we have it. So, Alaskan salmon, a roshti made of carrots, parsnip, an egg in it, expertly cracked, and some uh, pesto over the top. So, the dish has been prepared. There's only one thing left to do. Uh, ladies first. I don't know why we have four forks, but maybe just one. Yeah, Going exactly. Straight. One mouthful is not enough. Go for it. You first. <laughs> okay. Not that I don't trust you. 
What are you trying to say? Moshti. Bit of salmon. I've just ruined your presentation. I'm using my fingers as well. It's okay. It is a race. Go. Mm. Do I, care? I could eat that. I could eat that. <laughs> Very good. Mm. That's really nice. Excuse them. Tomato is perfect. Don't waste any. I think people are going to love this. And it's easy, isn't it? Definitely. So, guys, if you want more recipes like this, you want to find out more about Tessa, how can they find you? So, my blog, www.londonpaydaygirl.com, uh, and Instagram, London Paydaygirl, Girl, Snapchat, <laughs> TCWARD, S E W A R D, three. Just started Snapchatting. Yeah. She's going to be hooked on it, I think. I think I am. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Brilliant. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it too. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.